Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I was hoping to discuss a rumor which is circulating right now. The original source of this is a website known as Zolkorn, which points to reliable sources where they are saying that there will be no six core SKUs in the AMD Ryzen stack. Recently, we've discussed on TGW and other videos the, the stack which we're, which we're expecting to see, which has been codenamed SR3, SR5, as well as SR7, basically taking the Summit Ridge, which is the internal code name that AMD has been using for Ryzen. So there, we're, we've been expecting to see, I guess, three chips in this stack, and there's been rumors circulating about around what exactly that would mean. We've seen the 8-core 16-thread variant demoed around at a lot of the Ryzen events where they've showed off like the Blender as well as the Handbrake test showing it beating out the likes of the Intel i7-6900K, meaning that it's going to be competing with an $1,100 part. And then there's been a lot of speculation as to what the price of that processor would be. And we're going to talk about all of that here today and kind of speculate as well as hopefully discuss down in the comments your thoughts based on this discussion and, you know, things that we've talked about in the past as well. So they're, the main point is that they're making here in this inform inf informative article over on Zolkorn is that there's going to be no six core CPU. Now, up until now, I've kind of been of the mindset that there was going to be the eight core 16 threaded part, as well as a standard quad core with no simultaneous multi-threading, as well as a quad core with simultaneous multi-threading, effectively being four cores and eight threads, which would compete with the likes of the new i7 7700K. And then we'd have a quad core, which would compete with the likes of an i5. But now they're talking about, you know, a six core would that be a possibility seeing a six core variant um, but they're actually pointing to no we might see a eight core eight threaded variant in the middle of the stack being the sr5 summit ridge 5 co uh, code named part from amd so um, that is another point certainly to discuss as well and would there be that much of a price drop off going from the eight core 16 threaded part which they're talking about being as priced as high as around $700 or as low as $520. Personally, I'm inclined to think it's going to be at the lower end of that, um, and which would really be super competitive um, with that 6900K that they've shown beating in some very specific benchmarks. And then when you couple that with the cheaper motherboards that we're expected to see for AMD CPUs, then it's going to make it very enticing for a lot of enthusiasts out there, myself included. And then if they're talking about doing an eight core, eight threaded part right in the middle of that stack, then that's going to appeal to a lot of enthusiasts as well. But if they do that, then I'm going to have to think that if that, especially if the higher end is closer to the $700 price point, which they're rumoring, then the eight core, eight threaded CPU, I would have to assume is going to be somewhere around four to $500, which would put it um, well ahead of the KB Lake 7700K, which I just paid $340 for. Um, you're expected to pay around that, around 350 bucks for those i7s from Intel. So if they're expecting to compete with that, I would really think that AMD was actually going to move forward with something that can compete at that price point and probably the same core and thread count. So a four core, eight threaded part seems to make more sense to me, uh, as well as the pricing. I would think that that would be probably around 350, maybe to $400. But if it's faster than the KB Lake, then some people may be willing to pay for it if it is just a little bit more. And then of course we have the SR3 chip, which we're rumoring around is going to be a four core. Um, some people speculate that could be even below $200. So we'll just have to wait and see. Once we do see these CPUs coming, we're expecting to see probably announcements towards the end of February. And I think it was GDC or GTC. I, there's so many G, G, yeah, GTC, I think it is. Um, we're expecting to see a announcement sometime around then. So Really not much longer to go until we finally get to see the full announcement for Zen. So let's go down in the comments, hopefully, and discuss and get your feedback on this. Do you, what do you think is going to be the full stack? Do you think they're going to do a six core? Do you think they'll do an eight core um, with eight threaded with no simultaneous multi-threading on an eight core CPU? And if so, what would be the price of that? And how would it stack up against the i7-7700K? Um, so let me know your feedback down in the comments below. I'd be really curious to see what you guys think about this particular rumor. I'll leave a link over to the article over on WCCF Tech. They had kind of did some, um, th they basically translated and put it into a nice article for us to be able to read because um, the article over on Zolkorn is in Thai. So it's, a, it's originally a Thai website that was the source of this rumor who said that they had the good sources. So uh, let's go down in the comments and discuss really what we're here for and uh, look forward to seeing you guys down there. And I'll catch you in the next video. Turn off. That, that was a weird ending kind of, wasn't it?
Cabby Lake build's coming. Got all my, my stuff here. We're just waiting on some, like, cables and stuff, but after that, KB Lake build should be... I'm hopefully doing something this week with KB Lake. Um, and then the build, I'll probably wait until I have all my cables and everything, which might be another week or two out. Um, but other than that, I'm probably going to do something with testing on it. If you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see me test with KB Lake, I mean, other processors I've got here, I've got the i7-6800K, I've got the i5-6600K, and I've got a couple of FX8370s rolling around here. Um, those are all the CPUs that I've got, so if you've got any ideas for what you'd like to see me test with any combination of those, uh, then let me know down in the comments. I'd be curious to see what your guys, uh, what you guys come up with, or what you're interested in, I guess, so that I can make content for you, which will be a lot of fun, because I tend to enjoy doing that sort of stuff. But yeah, anyway, once again, I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> Ta-ra!